Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 2020 Indie Awards. And, you know, we only knew one actor from the, you know, Justice League series. We was going to mention Ben Affleck, but for some strange reason, he didn't answer our call. So, you know, Jason Momoa on a baseball field. And, oh yeah, we also said it wouldn't have been fair to have Superman a part of it because he would hit a home run every time, and I don't think Willie Mays, Hayes, or Wild Thing would be able to catch him. Yeah, that wouldn't be fair. But then again, fighting superheroes in a baseball game? Yeah, that's not fair either. But hey, if anybody could do it, it's the Cleveland Indians. But besides that dream scenario I was able to paint, folks, I think it's time for us to go into the next award of the night, which is none other than the GTA Online Creator of the Year. Which is an award we award to one creator of this GTA Online universe that was able to create something so special, so awe-inspiring that it has more thumbs-ups in place that you could possibly imagine with their out-of-this-world tracks that can only be described as awesome, or great, or even phenomenal. Okay, a lot of words can go into what these guys and gals have done. So without further ado, Dan the What a Man's Do, if you will, please read the nominees for this year's Creator of the Year. And here are your nominees for this year's GTA Online Creator of the Year. <laughs> Gilmore 50. <laughs> The creator of the pool ball table track. Yes, Dan the Weatherman Stu, Gilmore 50 was able to create a race track in the past couple of years with not only pool tables, air hockey tables, soccer tables, uh, any form of table you can think of, she was able to make into a race track. And also was able to make a track themed after Batman as well. With every single car of Batman variety you could possibly think of. Now, if that's not creativity, I don't know what is. Vintage 99! <laughs> the king of classics himself! Oh, that's a great way to describe this guy because anything you remembered from your N64 childhood from Mario Kart or GoldenEye or even from Scarface, this guy can create in the world of Grand Theft Auto. And if you don't believe me, he was able to create Peach's Castle. He was also able to create Mario 64's classic racetrack and even Wario Stadium from the classic games of Mario Kart's past, which is insane. And I got a feeling probably took a lot of man hours for him to create these said tracks. And oh, thank you for reminding me, Maestro. He also was able to create, I don't know, a uh, Big Boo's Haunt? Yeah, another cool track from the world of Mario Kart. Wig Splitter! <laughs> Mr. NASCAR himself! Yes, that's the best way to describe Wig Splitter, folks. A guy who can actually recreate any NASCAR like track in the world of Grand Theft Auto. Daytona 500, Indianapolis 500, anything with a 500 that is raceable in an oval or a makeshift rhombus or any form of racetrack you can think of, I got a feeling Wig Spiller can pull it off. Which gets me extremely excited with the brand new races that are coming down the horizon with the Formula One cars, cause I got a feeling he has something real cool up his sleeve. Or his katana with that logo he has for his character. Which is also pretty cool. Petey Pan Mofo! Yep, folks, Petey Pan Mofo, a living legend in the world of these indie awards and in the world of Grand Theft Auto Online, coming up with several different forms of Hot Wheels like tracks that I got a feeling a couple of you at home probably played in your spare time without realizing it. 
But don't worry, folks. We will tell you every single time when you do. And not to mention, I do believe this is one of the creators that was able to create things on not only PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and even Xbox One along with the PC. So his creations are system-wide, which is nuts. Moini 16! <laughs> Moini16, a newcomer to the world of the Creator of the Year series, folks, because this guy was able to be a part of the Track of the Year three months in a row is the reason why this guy got nominated. And not only that, folks, but the fact that this man was able to test your vertical insanity on a multitude of occasions that won him that prestigious award tells you how special this guy truly Truly is and I'm really hoping for part four for vertical insanity yes maestro we are a glutton for punishment but that is a real cool track series it really is Genopia <laughs> yeah Genopia what can I say about this guy that the tracks of the month and the week hasn't already said about him already because if any of you out there who's been listening to the GTA Online Top 5 Tracks of the Week or the Year for the past year that we've done it, for about a good, I don't know, six months, this guy's name has popped up on the list more times than anybody else with the exception of Gilmore 50, which tells you this guy's tracks are good and not to mention deserves all the credit in the world no matter how many times we mention them. Smoked Cannabis! <laughs> what a cool name! A cool name indeed, but at the same time, this guy next to Swagslin is somebody who can test your car's physical limits more than the next man. And what do I mean by that, folks? Well, if you ever played any of his tracks that involves more wall rides than necessary, or even more spirals than your local hypnotist, yeah. This guy will definitely bring the best out of any vehicle you decide to use in any of his tracks. Or at least give you a physical challenge like nobody else can. Best way to describe him. And with all the nominees read, Dan the Weatherman Stu, if you will, please read this year's winner of the GTA Online Creator of the Year. And hold on one second, we're getting a word from the committee and Dan the Weatherman Stu, as well as the Maestro. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, apparently two people won this award, and we don't like ties here, so we're gonna go to the Wheel of Misfortune and see who's gonna be the winner of the GTA Online Creator of the Year. So one sec, folks. And the wheel has been spun. And it landed on this year's winner. So Dan the Weatherman still with the results of the Wheel of Misfortune. Can you please read this year's winner of the GTA Online Creator of the Year? And the winner of the GTA Online Creator of the Year is... Drumroll, please! Genopia! <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations indeed because it came within three ticks of being Gilmore 50, which was the other person who tied out for this set award for Creator of the Year. So even though she didn't win the award, an honorable mention should be good enough. And I got a feeling we will have to give her a crystal version of the trophy as a runner-up prize. You know, we might start doing that more often. I don't know. And with that said, folks, I think it's time for us to head back into this music once again. And when we return, we'll be back with the next award of the night, which is none other than the Match of the Year Award, as the 2020 Indie Awards rolls on right after this. So don't go away just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 